So some of you guys had asked me in the past about being able to do some Shavasana adjustments for kids. And um, Hunter and I do some thing called rubs and smells. And at night I give her essential oils, right, and I rub my hands and then we, we smell them. And then I adjust her body so that her body can soften and release and she can go to sleep. So the first thing that, she, that we do, the first place that I adjust her after we smell, are her shoulders. So I go underneath her shoulder blade, and then turn the shoulder blade up, and then soften the hand down. And the same thing with the other hand, bring it all the way down. And then I give her a little tiny push down on the shoulders to press it down. And then I do her hips. So from here, I place one hand to the upper inner thigh, the opposite hand on the outer hip, and I turn that thigh in, back, and apart, and then pull down her leg. <laughs> Same thing on the other side. And I pull down her leg. <laughs> yeah. And then I just put my hands right at the ankles and press down. Press down. <laughs> Usually that's about it. So we, I just do adjustments here adjustments here, and then the last one is I just press her thighs down to help her relax. Be careful with your sister's hand. That's a, oh, oh. And then we do the head stuff, and the head stuff is the part that, she, that Hunter really enjoys. I usually just put my hand right on her forehead and press back, um, which I would have shown if there was a chaos happening now. Oh, here we go. Let's see. So now we're going to do the head. Remember the head stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So usually, I just put my hand right on her head, and I press straight down, straight down. And, and then I like to do some pulling, hair pulling, put my hand right inside her hair, and pull. And then, her favorite, one of her favorite parts is the ears, squeezing of the ears a little bit. And then, what's the last part? Do you remember? I do her little, she has, a, I have on her third eye. I put my fingers in her third eye and then I drop them down all the way back. So that's about it. Usually we just do this a little bit and by that time she's ready to relax and go Mama, to sleep. Yes? I forgot to do the feet. I did the, oh, you're right. Usually what happens too with the legs is I spend time massaging her feet. So I will uh, massage her feet before I do the legs. You're right, thank you so much. And when I massage those feet, I even massage the lower leg as well. I bifurcate her calf and I pull it back so that the entire leg can start to let go. It feels very nice for them, particularly in those legs because they use them so much. And, uh, yeah, so that's it. I hope that was helpful. Uh, Mama, we're going to get tangled up. We're going to get tangled up. I think we're already tangled. So, thanks for being a part of this, Hunter Rose Meon. <laughs>